I was watching the Zeus Network, okay? <laughs> Here we go. Bye. I'm so embarrassed. You should be. Dog, if y'all want a gag, Krishan Rock and Blueface a show, it's so bad that it's good. You she, think Blueface got the best dick? Hold on, let me tell you why. So they arguing in the kitchen, right? She's smoking weed while pregnant. It's so bad. But literally, he was saying that her success is because of him. She's like, that's not true. That's my destiny. And he goes, who the fuck is you? Destiny's child, bitch. That shit was so fucking funny. All this destiny shit. Anyway, one of the things that happened, they were on a lie detector. Actually, it's the same lie detector guy that did me on Fuse. Um, he must do everybody. <laughs> so basically, he, she keeps failing when it comes to fucking other niggas. If she's at a threesome, <laughs> then he goes, have, do I have the biggest dick you ever seen? And she was like, yes. And it was true. Am I the best sex you ever had? Yes. And he asked her like two or three times. And then I'm like, damn, and you tattooed this nigga? All yes. her, all her throat. And Bitch. her eyebrow. Bitch, throat. And, can, and put the tooth, his when face on the, the tooth. tooth. Bitch, I ain't gonna hold you. I don't want no dick like that. I don't want no I dick. I say I don't, but like I like that. That shit got no, me. No, 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 no. When I tell you, I don't want no dick like that. Like 24 7 dick already, maybe like he could get it all the time. Bitch, I was tired at work. Like, I was going to Jersey before I had to go to Times Square for the dick. That shit is crazy. What are we doing? Anything, I, I, anything better than that nigga? Oh, fuck. The no. only reason I think I might... So, hospital dick was so good, bruh. Oh, my God. Alex used to laugh at me. He used to be like, what you doing? Riding my bike going to get that dick? Because it was cold. No, bro. See, that's... Bro, no. it was so fucking good. I was, like, acting nuts. And he would look at me acting crazy. And I didn't care. Like, I just didn't care. I thought it was, like, hot crazy. I was like, oh, my God, I love him so much. And he was like, bitch, you are out of control. I'd really be sitting there that while he was is... at work, like, what's it? I don't understand. No, niggas with big, good dick know they got big, good dick. And they just capping, acting like, oh, I don't know why you're acting you like that. You can have a medium. Yes, you do. You know why you're acting like that. You could have a medium good dick, though. And I'm going to tell you this. I re recently was thinking about it. BDD's dick is so big. That, like, I can't fuck it. And I got so sad one day because I couldn't take that big ass dick anymore. And I literally was like, yo, I'm so sorry. He's like, why are you apologizing? Like, I'm good. I came. And I was like, I know, but like, you had to come from head. Like, this isn't fair for you. It's so big, Vandy. And I'll just be sitting there, like, <gasps> bro, I literally said this the other day. Vinny was screaming. You really like big, big, big dicks bro, like that? I th it was almost like he cleaned me out. It was bad. No, I was that's, like, that's true. disgusting. That's disgusting. Too bad. That's gross. When that nigga's medium or hard, it's the best. I told you, I don't like, I had one big dick and bitch, I didn't even fuck because my mouth wouldn't even go over the head. The ball player that I've I I've never had the bro, whole no. dick. Well, then that's not fun. I think it's only- Get in my gut. And if it's too big, what are we, you're not I remember really when I was it. just friends with this nigga and he used to always talk about bitches running from him and I always thought he was just being corny. Like, you know, when you think a dude is talking about their dick so like, Mind you, we were just cool. So people, well, maybe they could have also been running because you could have a big dick or even a, a, a medium large dick. But if you like Ram shit. Oh, no, he has a good stroke game. It's just how you know. That's your friend. Because I'm fucking him, BDD. Oh, okay, When we okay. were just friends, I'm saying, okay, okay. he used to say to me, like, oh, these girls be running on me. Like, I don't even want to fuck these hoes. They can't take no dick. And I was like, oh, he's just trying to make me think he is. And, and does. <laughs> and you know, does. I've been fucking this nigga on and off, what, three years now? Literally, I think it was the other day, he pulled it out and I was like, that chick too big. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with this dick? Anyway, our whole fact you. this week was sent in by Kaylin Garcia. Um, it was uh, initially from the Trap I Witch. Got this, too. this shit is so fire. So it's a picture of a chair that looks U-shaped with a little bit of a hole. And I don't know if this is real, real. I cross-referenced it like two or three times. And I feel like we wouldn't know if it's real because history wouldn't want to tell us. The same way they don't even want to tell us black history, bitch. Okay. They don't want us to know that everybody been hoes their whole life. And gay. And gay as fuck. So in the Middle <laughs> Ages, many of women, many women of wealth had male tongue slaves that would serve them whenever their husbands were away. The idea of only sitting on a man's face would allow them to experience some pleasure but remain faithful to their husbands. In ancient Persia, which is now Iran... <laughs> Queening chairs were crafted to cradle the man's head and mm -hmm. neck for support in case he was called to service many women or if the woman involved needed longer servicing than usual. Oh, women, this, is, this is a woman glory hole. Women, that's, that shit is so fire. Women would sit on the chair and drape their dress over it. It was a hole they'd sit over where the man's face would be. Now, what's so crazy about this, the only thing I thought of was uh, when I got a 
pussy steam. Oh, yeah. Those are, yeah, that's like the type of Because you kind of need the yeah. whole. Bitch, that shit's so crazy. I, I would 100% go to a glory hole like that. I ain't gonna hold you. I don't, you, y'all already know I don't like hair like I've that. I've been coming from there head so no, much. There ain't no way I'm just letting some random nigga eat my pussy. I don't even like pussy like that. Like my pussy hair like that. If it's but a clean tongue, you can't see their face or nothing. You just sitting on a chair with your little What girl. if you know it's verified good head? In a glory hole, you can't see the face. That's the point. Yeah, that's gross. If that's it's a, gross. It's gross, but it's hot. I'm too shallow for that shit. I would do it. I need to see what you look like because if you real fine, I want to make sure I'm sitting on that fine-ass face. I don't just want to sit on The face do matter, bitch. The face matters. So the head I just got, this was my hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First of all, I've been getting more head this year than I have in a long time. Don't know why. Just God wants You've me You've been dealing have. with head-giving niggas. So, it's like eating the cooch. I like normally like to get fucked and I can skip around some head. Like head was in my my heyday when I was gay. And it was still great. Head and scissoring loved it. But boy, these niggas is learning how to eat some pussy. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> first of all, grabbing dreads while you getting your pussy ate is a different type of country hoe in me. You've been loving that shit. This oh ain't my new. God, Go back bitch. to episode one. And you know what it Y'all is? Y'all can hear her say the same exact thing. I said that? Bitch, you've been talking about fucking getting head by dreadhead niggas forever. Oh, bitch, but this has been a minute. Yeah, because you an L.A. bitch now. I'm surprised oh, no, I'm sorry. out there. I land, but I forgot about that. Yeah. But then one other thing, but he wasn't like great, so I'd just be like, oh, fuck me. <laughs> but, um, okay. So, this is like the hot part. Okay, you know when you fuck someone for the first time, you don't know what's going to happen next? Even though it sounds kind of juvenile to say that, but basically like, He's like kissing on my titties. Then we started making out. He didn't eat my pussy. Then like where he's doing some licking, then he didn't eat my pussy. And then finally, it's when you're like got your legs up and you feel the pussy on their chest. Girl, oh my God. It was so, I don't know what he did. Can like, you, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Oh. If y'all are watching YouTube, this is becoming. Girl, what? this, this <laughs> will happen. Okay. First, I'm feeling the pussy right on like the chest. And he had like a nipple ring. Oh my God, it was so hot. But he had a nipple ring? Girl, you know I like alt black boys. Oh my God. I, so anyway, then I'm just like, I'm start, never putting a table in front of us again, y'all, ever. Girl, I just want to show off these shoes before I return them because they hurt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So basically, I'm just feeling like all the wetness on his chest. It was fucking hot and I could like see it. Ooh. And it was, I think I might have been ovulating. So it was a little like, you know, the consistency is like sexier. What did Jeeves used to call it? Girl. That's disgusting. But anyway, he starts eating my pussy. And like, I don't know. I, I couldn't look. I was also way too into his hair. But he was blowing on my clit a lot. And I know that's a very basic thing. But he was like blowing everywhere. Not in the hole. You can give somebody embolism or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, don't blow in the hole. But it's like literally fingers in the pussy blowing on the clit. Okay. Bitch, that shit was crazy. But that's why I said the sex, I don't really know what to say about it. But the head was good. But well, maybe the head was that good, you was just like, eh, for the dick. That's, that, like, that has true. happened. Like, that's happened where I've had a fuck session and my mind immediately goes back to the head. So I'm like, oh, nah, he did that shit. Like, that's what happened uh, in Houston. I told that nigga the next day, sir, you can eat some coochie. You could really eat some coochie. Stuff. Yeah, like when you get head, like when like you that, get some head, and it's like you're, you're something is, and like you could tell when they love doing it. Ooh, oh, god damn! Shout out to y'all. Bro, I, I started coochie. feeling bad at how long it was taking. I was like, I know I ain't slept that long. <laughs> Thank you, because I did not. Wait, is, is that it, is, is that something you consider? Because I'm not gonna lie, I kind of do, and I don't know if it's because I'm a feminist that I believe shit is fifty fifty. But nigga, if I suck your dick, me too. I think for so. a good amount of time, you can't give me no. You, you got to be down there for a little bit of time. That's what I'm saying. Just because I gave you a lot of bit of time, I still need like also, a good amount of time. Shout out to me not running into these bum ass niggas that say they don't eat pussy because I used to deal with that. I feel like I would always meet niggas that say, "Oh, well, you know, it, it takes." Because you were dating Jamaicans. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. That's why. <laughs> She's right. You did go through that Jamaican era. And Jamaicans right. to this day swear they don't eat no goddamn she, coochie. She's absolutely right. <laughs> well, 